So far you've learned the basic process of creating parts. You start by creating the overall size and shape of the part and then you cut away from it until it's finished. The shell command removes material from the part so it stands to reason that the shell command would be one of the last commands that you use during the construction process. The question this lesson will try to answer is when should you use the shell command and why should you use it? First let's look at why you should use the shell command. If you don't have the bottle one file open, open it. Now edit sweep one. We're going to apply the thin feature option to the sweep, but as you recall this option is not available after you've created the feature. So we have to delete the sweep and then reconstruct it. Type the escape key to exit the command and then right click on sweep 1 and select delete. Shell 1 is a child feature of sweep 1 so it will be deleted. Before we delete the features, think about what's involved in recreating the shell. All we have to do is evoke the command, select a surface and then set the wall thickness. So we can recreate the shell operation with very little effort and this is another reason to have the shell operation near the end of the construction of the model. We'll need to use the sketches to recreate the sweep so keep this option unchecked and click yes. Now open the sweep command. Select the profile in the path and then select the guide curve. This time we're going to use the thin feature option. Set the thickness to one eighth of an inch and then type the enter key to apply the command. Highlight the front plane in the feature manager and then open the section view command. Now zoom into the bottom of the window. As you can see the thin feature option creates a wall from the beginning of the sweep to the end and when the start and end of the sweep isn't perpendicular to the profile the wall thickness isn't uniform. For example this wall has a sharp edge on it. So you're better off using the shell command. Now let's say you want to change the design of the bottom of the bottle. A flat bottom is too simple so you want to add concave areas. You could start with this sweep and then add concave features but that method would be too difficult to edit. It would be easier to create the concave features in the overall size and shape of the bottle and then apply a shell operation. So let's quickly do this. Type the escape key to close the section view and then edit the sweep. Now you can see that the thin feature option cannot be deleted once it's used. So we'll need to delete the sweep and then reconstruct it. Type the escape key and then delete the sweep. Now open the sweep command, select the geometry and then apply the command. Now make a sketch on the front plane. Set the view to the normal view and then select the edge on the bottom of the bottle. We're going to revolve a cut into the bottle and we're going to use this line to constrain the location of the geometry used in the revolve operation. In order to do this we need to highlight it and then click the convert entities command. This adds a copy of the edge to the sketch. Now hide the sweep. If you modify the sweep this line will be modified and the geometry constrained to it will be modified as well. So using the line to constrain the geometry in this sketch will simplify editing the sweep. We're going to use the line for construction so change it to a construction line. Now draw a line upward from the middle of the line and then set the length of the line to three quarters of an inch. Once you've done that, use the three point arc command to draw an arc. 
Select the end of the construction line and then a point halfway to the top of the vertical line. Now select a point so that the arc looks about like this. You're still in three point arc mode so select the end of the arc and then the top of the vertical line. Click the third point and then type the escape key to exit arc mode. Now draw a line from the bottom of the vertical line to the start of the first arc. The next step is to add relations. Select the arcs and add a tangent relation to them. Also add an equal relation to the arcs. Now highlight the arc on the left and the horizontal line and add a tangent relation to them. The end of this arc needs to be horizontal so select the center of the arc and the vertical line and then add a coincident relation. When you're finished the sketch should be fully defined. Exit the sketch and then unhide the sweep. Open the revolve cut command. Select an entity on the sketch and then clear the axis of revolution window. Select the vertical line and then type the inner key. It doesn't hurt to look at the cross section of your work from time to time to confirm that the model looks right. So open the section view command. The command automatically uses the last plane that was used for the command so it's very easy to check your work. Now that you've finished the general shape of the bottle, we're ready to use the shell command. Escape from the section view command and then open the shell command. Select the top of the bottle as the surface to be removed. The wall thickness should be 125 thousandths of an inch. Type the enter key to apply the command. So when should you use the shell command? You should use it near the end of the construction of the model. That's it for this lesson. Before you proceed to the next lesson, be sure to save your work.